welcome to Rose Kitchen. Today we're going to do artichokes in the iPod. I've had people ask me, can we do them in the iPod? And I thought, why not? Sure, let's give it a try. So today we're going to do artichokes in the iPod. Now I usually get the mini ones from Trader Joe's, but I had not had time to go there today. So I have big artichokes, the regular ones, and I've cut one already. I took the stem off the bottom. I spread the leaves because we're going to put the seasoning in there and I'm going to also show you how to how to get to that point okay um, I do have the stem here and I want to show you how to make a really tender delicious stem because they're they're the best part in my eyes actually these are just as good as the heart so let's get started okay so here I want you to come and look a little closer I'm gonna give you the gist of what I'm doing here Okay, I want you to be able to see this. So I had cut the stem off, and then really all you're going to do is trim off the rough edges. All right, so we'll take that off, and that's going to give us the, she the stem, and that's it. So we have these two ready to go, and then let's go ahead and start um, trimming down. So you're going to go in and you're going to cut a little above... Um, one of the leaves. You're not going to cut all the way to the, um, you're not going to cut down here, you're going to cut here. Number one, you want it to sit flat, and then we're gonna, it'll also take off some of the, the dead leaves. So we've got that. Now we can go ahead and clean that off. Throw that in my bowl of not keeping. Then, of course, definitely cut off the end because it's, it's all boo-booed. Boo-boos, yuck, we don't want that. Blah. All right, and I'm just gonna trim my stem again. And I'll tell you, this to me is so tender. And that's basically it. So we have two stems that we'll throw in the pot. Then we're also gonna trim the top. And you're gonna go down, oh, maybe about a half an inch like that. You need a sharp knife, I will tell you that. This knife is sharp. It doesn't seem sharp, but these leaves are tough. But that's because we have to cook it, all right? So let me finish cutting off the top. I know I look like I'm struggling, but trust me, I'm not. And there we go. Okay. So those will go in the trash bowl. I put everything in a, a bowl. Makes it easy for cleanup. And that's it. And again, we're just going to stretch it open just like this because we want to be able to put all our filling inside. So it's going to be nice and open up. Okay so you can get everything in there. Now, the ingredients that we have to go in here are breadcrumbs, and these are Italian style. They're my favorite. I know last time we used panko, but really this is my favorite, so I went and got these. And then minced garlic, because I'm too lazy to chop garlic. I always tell you, if you can take a shortcut, take it. Alrighty, I have the water over here, ready to go with the Instapot, and we're gonna go ahead and get started. So the first thing I wanna do is I'm gonna take my artichokes and let's take them over here to the Instapot. And we're gonna give this a shot in the Instapot. And just, here, come back over here. What are you going over there for? <laughs> I'm teasing you, okay. So we're gonna go ahead and take these opened up. I always put the filling in when they're in the pot because this way if that extra filling goes in the water, it's no big deal. So, I'm going to put them in the pot, just like so, all right, I'm going to throw the stems in, boop, boop, that's it. I'm going to take water, and you really just want the water to come up like halfway, so that's what we're going to do. I don't know how much water it'll be, so you got to kind of look. Well, that's good. Maybe not quite half, but maybe at least a third, okay? And then I'm just going to take, I mean, this can't get any easier, girls, This or guys, this can't get any easier, okay? Then I'm going to take my breadcrumbs and my garlic, and I have some vegetable broth. I forgot about that. Let me grab that real quick. Forgot we had that. And, oh, here it is. I do have homemade vegetable broth, so it'll look a little pale, but that's because I just made it last weekend, and I probably didn't have as many onion skins as normal. So I think I'm going to do the garlic first, and I'm just going to take a little spoon, probably use my 
teaspoon measure, even though I'm not going to use a whole teaspoon. Well, you probably. All right, so I'm going to take that and here, let me let you look in there while I do this. And I'm just going to take it and spread it over the top like that, pushing it down into the leaves. Let me see if I can get you to stand here without me having to hold you constantly. Can you see that okay? Let me move this over for you. Is that better? Yeah, I think so too. Okay. So I'm going to take that and I'm going to push it down like into the leaves all around. It doesn't have to be in all the leaves. It doesn't have to be in every leaf. Um, but we want it flavorful enough. So you're just going to kind of push it in there, spread it down into the leaves. Okay. And I'll do my other one. And at first I just smushed it over the top. Because then when you open the leaves, you can kind of push it down into there. So you can see how the garlic is kind of going down inside, right? Then you're just going to take your breadcrumbs. And believe it or not, I don't measure. I'm so sorry about that, but you're going to have to eyeball this thing. And you're going to sprinkle it so that it's going in. And, and basically similar. See how I got it on the top? And now if I open this up, it'll go down inside right? So I want to kind of sprinkle it so it's inside the artichoke leaves because when you pull that with your teeth and you pull that artichoke um, meat off with your teeth, that flavored breadcrumbs really makes a difference. So and now we'll do this one. And again, I'm going to sprinkle it over the top. Next, you're going to take some of your vegetable broth and you're going to pour that over the artichokes because the point is here to get the inside of the artichoke moist. And you don't want to drown it, but you want to put it in there to keep it moist. I would say I probably didn't use more than a quarter of a cup, and if you really look closely, you can see that they're, they're wet now, okay? And that's really it. So now I'm gonna put my top on for my, excuse me, I have to reach across you. Okay, I'm gonna put my Instapot top on. I always figure out which way it goes. I like that music it plays. Hang on. There we go. Okay. Make sure this is not on vent but on closed. And then I'm going to go ahead and set the timer. And I think what I'd like to do is I'm going to set this. I'm just going to use manual because that's really the easiest thing to do. And I'm going to set it for, I'm going to do six, I'll do eight minutes, even though I think that might be too much. I'm really not sure. Remember, this is the first time we're doing it in the Instapot. It took an hour on the stove, but in a low temperature. So we're gonna go ahead and try this. So it's turning on, and then through the magic of video, we're gonna take the lid off and see what it looks like. So the timer went off, and I was getting set up for my next recipe, which is gonna be a vegetable paella. And I have to tell you, oh my gosh, the saffron smells so good. So it looks like I've got about, uh, I let it set on warm for about 17 minutes. So we should, we're gonna take this off, make sure first, uh, definitely no steam left, that's good. And now we're gonna take the lid off. And see, now if they're not done enough, it's not a big deal, you know, we can always put it back. So it's not really a big deal. Oh, they smell really good here. Come here and look at this. Look at this. Don't you think that looks great? They are awesome. All right, so let me take one out. I'm going to put it in a bowl for us and test it and see if it's done. The best way to test it to see if they're done is you just pull out a leaf. It looks pretty good and we did pull one off and it is good, but I'll tell you what, I really think it could use another maybe five or six minutes. So I'm going to put it back in the pot and I'm gonna go ahead and put the pot back on for about another five minutes. Let's put that back in. Because I want it just a little bit more tender. I mean, it is pretty tender, but I like it super, super tender, I guess, I don't know. Anyway, remember, this was the first time we're trying this, so, you know, work with me here. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and turn that off. I am going to go ahead and set the 
manual. And I'm only going to do it for so about... So we added the four more minutes, and now it's cooling down so that we can open this. I mean, if I went to open the vent right now, it would make a lot of... Instead of venting it, I'll let it sit a little longer. As you can see, I let it stay for about 13 minutes. So now, when I release the valve, there's very little, very little steam. One little spit. Okay. So they definitely now should be to our liking, tender and tender and moist the way I want them. So let's give this another shot, shall we? Here we go. Oh, I can tell now when I lift that it is up. Just where we want it. Nice and tender now. Perfect. Mm-hmm. And it scrapes off nice and easy and tasty and delicious. And um, did I show you the heart? I mean the stem, sorry. The heart you won't get to till you get to the very bottom. So here's what that looks like. And watch how soft it is. And it just pulled apart. It is delicious. So, I'm not going to continue to eat in front of you. That would be rude. All right. So, I want to thank you for watching. I hope you've learned something. If you remember in the last video we did with artichokes, I told you about the nutritional value of artichokes. Um, we now see that it is, it is possible to do it in the Instapot. So, you have two ways, on the stove or in the Instapot. I'm now preparing for our vegetable paella and I'm telling you my kitchen smells so good because I'm prepping the ingredients and I've got the saffron out oh my gosh it just smells so good anyway thanks again look forward to uh, hearing from you um, please subscribe please click like and uh, I look forward to having you come to my kitchen for another recipe okay this is Rose Kitchen signing off